I show you guys how to install Forge Mods on Questcraft. Yes, you heard that right, Forge Mods on Questcraft. Let's get straight into the video. All right, before I get into this tutorial, I wanna show you some mods I found. First mod I found was Ice and Fire. So Ice and Fire is a dragon mod. As you see, I'm currently riding a lightning dragon right now. And above me, there's an ice dragon right there. So I'm currently in the ice dragon's nest. Basically what this mod is, is just dragons. You can ride them like I'm riding right now. And since, see, as you can see, your dragon will kill other mobs for you once they attack you, which is pretty cool. And there's also called these dragon steel swords. So I currently have the lightning dragon steel sword. And if I attack anything, like you just saw, when I swing and hit it, um, lightning. So lightning. I can make him fly too. So if I do that, um, wait for it to calm down, and then boom, I'm flying a dragon in Minecraft VR right now on fabric with a forge mod. So that's pretty cool. Next mod I have installed is called um, Blood Magic. So we'll follow this little path I made. This is such a cool sword, oh my god. Okay, in here we have Blood Magic stuff. So, there's something called a Blood Altar, which, where you can put stuff on. Like I just put my sword on the Blood Altar. This mod is very complicated, I will say that. I have basically no idea how to use this mod. But, I mean, I watch videos on it and it seems pretty cool once you actually know what you're doing. Alright, there's this thing called a tunneling shaped charge. This is what it looks like. Um, if I just throw it, let's say, on the wall right there. It's gonna ignite and then it's gonna blow a tunnel. Just like that. That's pretty cool. That's not all the mod has to offer. I'm pretty sure you can do like rituals and spells that do some crazy things. But that's for your own time, my own time to figure out how to beat that. So I'm gonna try to initiate a dragon fight right now between this ice dragon and my lightning dragon. So if this guy attacks me, he should get this attack. Okay. See, both my dragons are now fighting each other. Hopefully mine doesn't get killed. See, they're fighting. Yeah, that was pretty sick. It might help out a little bit. Can't get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. Ice Dragon, he has lightning. I mean, Ice Dragon's ice, so that's why my guy's face out. See, he's breathing ice. My dragon is breathing lightning. They just fight each other. He has armor. So he should be fine. also stuck. I might pass away. Did he kill him? Did he bro kill him? Yes! <laughs> yes, he killed him. Good job, bro. Good job. So, yes, when you kill a dragon, it obviously dies, but it doesn't like despawn like all the other mobs. It will lay down as a corpse. And with these corpses, is you can harvest them. Yeah. It would be your a button on your controller so it drops dragon scales um dragon flesh and then a dragon heart it's fine so that's just a quick showcase of these two mods that i have installed on my headset um as you can see dragons i have mercy fnc that keeps on freaking opening um the blood magic mod all that cool stuff so without further ado let's get into the rest of the tutorial Alright, first thing you need to do to install Forger Mod on your quest is change your instance to 1.20.1. .1. Go to mods, search kilt, that's K I L T. That search button should pop up. Hit install. 
So next, to install the Forge mods, since the mod manager on Questcraft is only for fabric mods, we have to go into the browser. Search Modrinth. Discover mods. And I'm going to go with Ice and Fire. Go. Ice and Fire. These, this is dragons in Minecraft. So you see Forge and Neo Forge, no fabric. Hit download. So game version. On that one. Forge. Download. Should pop up right there. And check for any. Um, check for any dependencies. So this one requires Citadel. Well, 20.1. Forge. Download. And you can either go into a mobile VR station or lightning launcher. If you have SideQuest installed on your headset, lightning launcher is a lot easier. I do it both ways, lightning launcher. You just hit this files app, boom, you're in. Go to configuration wizard, shell options, configure, open files all. And that's that. This is important. Hit these three dots, new window, and then hold your trigger down you select all of them so I have four hit these three dots hit your request Android data com.qcxr.qcxr files instances 1.20.1 and mods hold your trigger down until this hover thing pops up and drag it across for items and you're installed, installed in your mods. I make sure mod 20.1, hit play. And this will take a little longer to launch the normal. All right, that wraps up the video today. If you thought it was cool or if you found it helpful, please make sure to maybe consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the video and you guys have a good one. <laughs>